in simple terms, we turn gas molecules into electrons. It's absolutely the perfect place in Oregon to build this plant. This is the true cornerstone and backbone of everything that we do. In my uh, 22 years as mayor, this is the shining accomplishment for us. Hello, Chris. This is Johnny down at the Control Center. The National Control Center in Portland is our gatekeeper for some 60 different renewable energy projects, literally coast to coast. What you're seeing in this room is continuous monitoring of a fleet of over 6,000 megawatts. Because we have the gas plant, when the wind doesn't blow and the sun doesn't shine, we can still deliver electrons. We're able to rely on and call on Klamath Falls at any given moment and within minutes, they're able to produce the amount of megawatts that we need to balance our portfolio. It looks like wind will be coming back up, so uh, we'll probably be requesting to take those offline shortly. We can either increase Klamath's output or decrease Klamath's output as necessary, so we deliver a, a smooth, reliable product. It was the first asset that was ever built for this company. It's what makes it possible for us to firm and shape wind and solar power for all of our customers. This is the only thermal plant in the Iberdrola system. The two main stacks are 150 feet tall. The cooling tower puts out a pretty substantial plume, especially in the cooler weather. This plant generates about enough power for 480,000 homes. Behind me you see the natural gas supply line. On the other side of the plant, you see where our 500 kV distribution line is. The plant is also cogeneration, and by cogeneration, it means that we generate electricity to be sold into the grid, and we also generate steam. We have a steam line to the Collins Forest Products plant, where they use it for drying, they operate presses, they use it for building heat. So we were able to connect to them, provide them steam, and shut off their emissions emitting boilers. Additionally, the city was able to provide us cooling water from their wastewater treatment plant, which is also another benefit to the environment. This gas plant was the cleanest in the country when it was built. Ray and his crew keep this plant in tip-top shape. From the beginning, we made the decision that our staff and crew, we were gonna write our own safety program, develop it from scratch. We're in OSHA's most elite health and safety program. We've had a motto here, first and foremost, everybody goes home safe every day. And secondly, we don't harm the environment. I've worked in a lot of plants in my career and I've never, never been surrounded by a crew as talented and as professional as the other 21 folks that are here. These guys make themselves relevant in this community every single day with what they do and how they do it. The folks that work here feel that as a part of the community, they need to give back to the community. Klamath Falls is a good town. Nice folks. We're uh, blue collar. We work hard, play hard, and uh, like the simpler things in life. Yeah, we're ready. Let's go. The employees of Iberdrola are so much a part of the social fabric and the soul of the community. So you got uh, 20 some guys uh, contributing to the United Way. Yep. Yep. 100% participation. Right? Everybody contributed. Ah, great. We raised uh, just over $19,000. Wow. And Iberdrola is going to match it dollar for dollar. So no kidding. About $38,000 coming smokes. into, the, into the organization. Iberdrola has always been very, very supportive of local communities that we do business in. I always get a kick out of, you know, watching my big gruff mechanics and electricians and operators going out of their way to put together boxes of toys to be given out to needy children in the community. The crew here really is a bit of a family. Ray Martins and his, uh, his team down there are absolutely fantastic. They're a very professional team, probably the best out there.